Good afternoon everybody, so sorry it's been so long since I've um, done a video but I, as I have recently finished this journal, it's perfect time to do one um, This journal is made from a 1933 British Illustrated Dictionary uh, I have left a lot of the original pages in because, well it's quite beautiful basically Main um, kit provider for this journal is uh, Medieval Mirage and Jarf over at Medieval Mirage is so helpful it's untrue so let's get on with it um, cover spine and the back there's your fastenings and they are on um, proper wax cord as well very hard to do this when I'm holding it with one hand. Right. Try not to move it about too much. So, as you can see, I've left as much of the original in as I can. Um, because I just think it really adds to this journal. So, Medieval. Um, this one is called Lady Tudor Rose. But I can assure you there will be more. Um, it's just lovely to work with. Look at look at this. Just beautiful. Um, and there's also little pockets. Obviously you can add your own things, take them out. I'm not going to do the whole book because we'd be here forever. So I'm going to do it, I think, more like a, um, a flip through. Once I've shown you the first couple of pages. Hang on. So that's holding that and that. So you're getting the idea of it. This is a die cut and it's one that I've never known what to do with. And it's coming very handy for this one. Right, so. Lots and lots, as always with me, envelopes pockets, tags, you name it, I've probably got it in here. Um, because it's illustrated as well, I've coloured some of the illustrations then to, you know, so other people would think, oh, I'm going to have a go at that. Um, there's also lots of die stamps in it. Me just being whizzy. Um... There's also some fabrics like that, for instance, and this, but not too much because uh, I don't want to go like a boho when it's not boho. So plenty of journaling cards, journaling space. And of course, um, I've got a few bits left over from this, um, which I will send. I loved this. This was... Um, double-sided A4 sheet and it was just so easy to use I would definitely recommend that for people who've got um, dexterity problems oh hang on there we go it would take forever to go all the way through it I've used like bookmarks as the um, tabs on this I just thought it was a bit different can see there this has got that on it so there is little bits in it but not loads my favorite origami as everybody knows by now I'm sure I can't go any faster because all my pages and what have you out I've already missed a couple out Anyway, you're getting the idea, I'm sure. These little ones on the bottom are just washi tapes. And it was just to add a little bit of colour rather than destroy more pages, I suppose. I think that was my blue day. So loads and loads and loads in it and it goes right to the back. Oh yeah, there's little envelopes as well. I don't know if they said that or not. <clears throat> I 
there's just so much scope with these um, medieval journals that I'm doing and you, you've got them forever once you've got one you've got it forever and you can do all sorts with it I mean I tend to keep my work flat when it's for a journal but can you imagine doing um, proper decoupage with it it'd just be astounding wouldn't it right so I hope you're all on how much is in this because it's massive hang on have I still got it in view, Mike? Look. Like I say, we'll be sending a few bits. So, if you wanted to do um, Frankenstein pages or... Um, I can't think what it's called when you, when you have the mobile acting quarters. But you could do all that with it as well. And it's, it's just brilliant. It really is. Some very nice stamps. I always seem to turn things into nature. Well, never mind, eh? Right, so. That is one Mahusif journal. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's not too long. And thank you very much for taking an interest and for your support. So, for now, everyone, bye.